Well, hi there. I'm Fenwa. I'm Lobst. And I'm Demo Weasel. And welcome to Turok for the Xbox 360. Yeah. Propaganda. That's two Ps. Back to back. Mm-hmm. And like all video games from the aughts, Unreal Engine. Yes. Yep. I don't have a Ubisoft style joke to go for the Touchstone logo, sorry. Oh, I see. Okay, rookie. Time to get your feet wet. Remember, there are no innocents here. No prisoners, no witnesses. I'll touch I'll touch your stones? I don't know. Yeah. Well if you touch two stones, that's two rocks. <laughs> hey. Here's a question. What? Are you ready to rock? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad these are all getting cut. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> I don't understand the mechanic of stabbing someone with a bow. Um, neither do I. I think the problem is you're supposed to stab somebody with the arrow. Oh, oh yeah, they got confused. Yes. <sighs> oh, man. Good morning. I think I slept wrong. I'm dying for some pancakes, man. That's all I dreamed about. Hey, check it out. Hey, who's he? Hell if I know. Somebody get a bucket and mop. We got a new cleaner on board. Hey, who's the new guy? <clears throat> I like his hair. <laughs> hey. Your name's Turok, right? I know all about you. <laughs> Officer on deck! <laughs> all right, ladies. We've only got 30 minutes till we touch down, so I'm only gonna say this once. Our target is Roland Kane, leader of the legendary Wolf Pack. I just realized that the only thing that indicates that women exist in the Turok universe is the fact that the guy called everybody ladies as a derogatory term. <laughs> yeah. Also, that middle picture back there looks like Big Boss. is simple. Find Kane and bring him back to Earth, period. All right. Now I want you to meet Turok. Turok? <laughs> Turok's here to help us track Kane down. He's a former member of Wolfpack. Yeah, before he screwed him over. Slade, can it? He can't be trusted. All right, meeting's over. Let's get ready to roll. Let's get to work, boys. You found him, huh? Turok. Oh, no, no. with me. Bad. So this is how the game starts. Okay. We don't really get a, uh, a title card or anything like that, but I, inside baseball, I'm also editing out a lot of loading screens, so there was probably a Turok thing that flashed up uh, alongside some message to the tune of, don't get killed by dinosaurs. Oh. It also doesn't have the credits slowly fading in on the bottom left, like, Touchstone Presents. I don't have yeah. all day, man. Get your dumb ass over here. You want to follow me up this ladder? Turok in. Turok. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I like that it's standard practice in this military unit to climb ladders two rungs at a time. Mm -hmm. These ladders were built inefficiently. Okay, head to the side door. You'll also notice that I'm kind of critical pathing any time the game tells me to go somewhere. It's because there's nothing off to the sides. <laughs> okay. Cole wants me to walk you through some of the gear we'll be using once we get planet side. Ever used one of these? Once or twice. All hands, brace for impact! Incoming missile, brace for impact! transferred to another military prison, but there's been a change of plans. You are now under my command. The army sees you as a bunch of violent reprobates with no future, but I see men who, with the right guidance, could become the best fighting machines the military has ever produced. And that is exactly what I need for Wolfpack. And what are we, your dogs? You, step forward. You're a Native American, aren't you? You're a genius. 
You're either Cherokee or Kiowa. I'm guessing Kiowa. And you're lucky I'm in these cuffs, old man. Get up. Get up! Wake up! We gotta go! It was all just a dream. Come on! The Lost Lar... Oh, okay. The, the Lost, <laughs> the lost Lar. Yeah, not the Lost Lar. <laughs> yeah, the game is broken up into chapters, but they all just sort of appear in the uh, the bottom corner. Okay. Mm -hmm. The spacing is a little arbitrary. Originally, I was going to do one chapter per video, but I ended up with one that was 40 minutes and one that was like 12. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I do genuinely appreciate that the game sets up like it's going to do a weapons training sequence and then just skips it. But how else are you going to know to look up and down? The route's blocked. Down here's our only option. Follow me. Okay. Um, I'll take your word for it. You should be able to get out over here. Come on. Okay, so there were a lot of first-person shooters in the aughts that claimed like they had some sort of you know, unique thing to them. Like, oh, uh, Knife Crisis kills. has the open world. Hey, some help over here. Fucking whatever has something it's else that's kills. stupid. Uh, it's this, knife kills. That's, that's this game's thing? It's what? knife kills. That's their bullet point? Yeah. We can do. I mean, their knife point on the back of the box? Yes. Look at this detail texture. And QTEs. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I like that the door just opened after he released yeah. It bowed beneath the strength of Turok. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Somehow you fell that distance and yeah. survived because you're cartoon characters. Okay. I'll live. Come on. Let's go look for the rest of the ship. Maybe some of the others are still alive. We've got to work together from now on. Stick with me and we'll make it through this. We're on this weird planet. This dinosaur planet. So I, I didn't notice until just now that uh, this guy is sort of popping in and out of the level of detail uh, field, <laughs> so his, his right shoulder keeps uh, looking better and worse with every step. That's great. I love this foliage movement. Yeah. This game loves to do a thing where it will give you an objective that tells you to follow someone, but after a while they just do this, and you actually have to continue moving past them to progress the story along. Also, due to the way my equipment is mixing everything, people sound a lot louder when they're behind me, so I, I'll probably find a way to fix that in post. Honestly, like, if you just followed this guy, then you wouldn't be able to um, divert to the side to find double dag pods, or bathmodads, or <laughs> skulls. Yes. Can you find dino DNA? <laughs> Will you get it all over yourself? That sounds really gross. I mean blood, sir. You also do not reach your hand into a giant pile of dino droppings. I believe it's called... Shit. He's got you there. Ah. What is this place? There, see that smoke? I bet that's where the rest of the ship came down. That's where we want to go. Whiskey Company, come in. Anyone out there? Damn it. Still no answer. Whiskey Company, come in. I hope there's a really dumb story twist in this Fenwa. You know, to my knowledge, there's no real explanation for why you're on a dinosaur planet. It's just a planet that's populated by dinosaurs. It's not like your ship went back in time or there's a temporal vortex or anything like that. Hey, I think I got some. Ah! Oh, and our friend died. Oh, no. So he's gone. Uh, sure. We barely knew ye, literally. He had a name, he had a voice actor, I guess. His name was Charles. Because you chuck him to the dinosaurs. <sighs> thank, thank you, Frankie. That's funny. Yeah. When do you get a gun? Uh, the game just sort of tutorializes you through, uh, weapon collecting, things like that. Whoa. Hey, there you go. Ah. Turok has binoculars. <laughs> Okay, so did they take the dinosaur hunter thing out of... Whoa, hey. Oh, shit. There you are. Yep. Squeeze the trigger, boy. Kick that dinosaur in the junk. I actually really hate quick time events that are bound to the triggers because they're not just a button you can mash. They're like a thing you have to squeeze through. Yes. 
Also, these this sucks because the foliage <laughs> right. is higher than the That's no no, no the just the, the foliage play, is higher folks. than the dinosaurs. I mean, this combat sequence in particular is not fun, mm -hmm. <laughs> but like probably intentionally so. It's okay though because these guys eventually just sort of fuck off. So this game can't really be called Dinosaur Hunter necessarily since you're not really hunting dinosaurs; they're just in your way and you're killing them. It's also not called Turok Dinosaur Hunter, so it's okay. This is just its own standalone thing that has nothing to do with the original Turok games, and so far as, uh, I don't know, GoldenEye for Nintendo Wii had nothing to do with the N64 game. But the thing is, though, this, this can't be called a Turok game either, because there's no ever-present mist, and there is no uh, there are no jumping puzzles. You haven't had yeah. to jump even once. It doesn't have that falling animation or scream. Yeah. Also, those crazy weapons. I don't believe the camera has tilted left or right. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, so here's that knife I was talking about. <laughs> you do a lot of that in this game. God. That's not a dinosaur. Okay, it's Turok Dinosaur, comma, Hunter, okay? <laughs> okay, so Turok is the dinosaur? No, there are dinosaurs and they're hunting in this game. But you are not a person that's hunting dinosaurs. Look, I never read the comics. I don't know what Turok's about. It's about the fucking dinosaur hunter. It says it right there in the title. Does your knife have limited uses? No. Also known as ammo. It oh. doesn't even get bloodstained. Oh, it's you. I'm guessing they're Kane's men. Coming to make sure we're all dead. Surprise! Let's go get these guys. It's all right, though. Even though we, we lost our charismatic dude whose name, well, I'll never forget, and now we just get to follow not Ron Perlman around for a while. Turok was looking at the viewer as though trying to say, what do you expect from me? Can you believe this guy? Can you believe this one weird trick? <laughs> Did you hear that? Looks like they sent a welcoming party. That's a cliche. Of course. Lock and load. So, um, how many times do you think they've tried to make a Turok movie? <laughs> you know, the, there are probably a few sci-fi original pictures that you could call a Turok movie. Remind me not to get on your bad side, Turok. Well, don't forget that Red Faction Armageddon is a sci-fi games, and that they made a sci-fi movie prequel to that game. Yes, they certainly did. <laughs> And I believe that partnership was instrumental in them announcing shortly after it released that there would be no more Red Faction games after that. Well, I think Red Faction Battlegrounds did it. Huh. Wasn't that like a top-down Xbox Live Arcade game? Top-down car combat. Okay. The ferns were clipping through that vehicle. So, are your squaddies in this game, like, just predisposed to die? Like, you can do nothing to save them, they can't follow you, really? They're invincible until the plot dictates that they are no longer invincible. And then they die. Do they actually help you? Apparently not. Ah, uh, it's Slade's shooting dudes. He's, he's getting things done, he's providing cover. He doesn't know how to take cover himself, though. Yeah. <laughs> like, there are chest-high walls here, and he's not even crouching. But it's okay, because he's invincible. I, I do appreciate that at least this game doesn't change the camera when you're behind cover. Oh, yeah, so it doesn't do, like, the pop-in, pop-out kind of thing? Yeah. Well, someone watching this Let's Play is probably really into what just happened. Rock on, buddy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just glad that dinosaur can't fire a gun. Wait, okay. Speaking of dinosaurs firing guns, does this game have any of that weird, like, cyber dino bullshit? You know, one of my roommates told me that it does, but I don't remember seeing any. Don't think this changes anything. We may be stuck together, but that doesn't mean I have to like it.
They're going to kiss. This is... There's so much drama here. He's so Sundere. Sundere, I think. Whatever. Video That's games. the end of that video. Yep. All right, I'm stopping this recording.